As the nation celebrates Thanksgiving, travelers continue to pass through airports all over the country. Yeah, and part of those travelers do include some very special personnel here in San Diego, including members of our military. Of course, we want to make sure they also have a very happy Thanksgiving. And our Phil Ferrar spent the day with members of our military over at San Diego International Airport. So they were leaving or coming home for the mm -hmm. holidays, and, you know, you don't want them to feel alone. And it's something the USO is very, very good at providing the meals for mm -hmm. them, and it's, uh, it's really good to see. So I think we're going to send it over to Phil Farrar now, who's going to tell us about today's special event for our Thanksgiving uh, for the military. Phil. Good afternoon, Ned. I tell you, San Diego is home to Navy, Marines, Coast Guard, and even, yes, Army soldiers. America's finest city ranks second behind Norfolk, Virginia, when it comes to the total number of active duty military personnel. And the United Service Organizations, or USO, make sure they are well taken care of when they arrive and if they go. Thanksgiving has never been like this for active duty members coming home or who are set to take off at the USO Neil Ash Center at San Diego's International Airport. Entertainment while they enjoyed a meal with all of the trimmings. I love it here. The people here are always real nice. They're real humble. It's great having a place to, it feels like home. Andrew loaded up with turkey, stuffing, and mashed potatoes. Navy radar specialist Ryle Snowder just came back after spending the last three years in Japan. He calls Bakersfield home, so he's thankful he's received orders to continue his career at San Diego's Naval Station 32nd Street. He says getting off the plane and coming to the USO Center was a welcome break. Oh, they're, they're so pro-military. They're, so, they're just so ready to help you out at, at any time, no matter where you go, whether you're coming here on leave, whether you're just hanging out, waiting for your connecting flight, no matter what, they're, they got showers, they got places to sleep like I was just doing, they got food, they got great meals over there always. They're always ready to help you no matter what. If you need a ride to a base, if you need a taxi, they'll call it for you. This is the fourth year the USO Neil Ash Center has been open. More than 130,000 active military along with their families, pass through here each year. The facility was just named the number one large category USO center in the nation. Everything in the center is free to them. And uh, from entertainment, today we happen to have, Thanksgiving Day, we have some entertainment with, with Fern Street Circus, and we have a, a great meal uh, from the Grand Hyatt, who's done this for the third year. It's just fabulous for them to be able to do that for the military. In addition to that, uh, we have games, we have computers, uh, uh, a large patio out back so they can relax. Now, more than 200 will pass through here today, another 300 at the downtown USO Center on A Street. The organization has also delivered box lunches and dinner, and CEO Arnie Nelson says they even had a request this year for frozen turkeys. They handed out 300. For 75 years, the USO, serving those men and women who serve us. Jason? All right.